All right, man, we're going to be talking about Pump Fake Hesitation today. This is one of my favorite abilities inside the game. I don't really use it that frequently, if we're being honest. But the times that I do use it, it helps out a whole lot in terms of keeping myself unpredictable. And that's what you want when you have the ball. You want to be unpredictable so that you can actually be effective with that ball in your hands. So let's go ahead and get started on how to activate this. The first thing you need to know, of course, when it comes down to an ability. So in order to activate this, you simply just drag your finger from the shoot button to the crossover button. And there are four total animations with this, which we will get into right now. So you have just a regular base animation if you're standing still. You're going to pretend to do a pump fake and you're going to continue your dribble. Now, how does this help you out? That's because a lot of the time, defenders let their guard down when they feel like you went for a pump fake. And once they let their guard down, you can simply just go into a high speed dribble. Nine times out of ten, they will not expect it. Well, some people might expect it, like the really good players will certainly expect it. But uh, probably down in like uh, below legend, like superstar and star and stuff, they will not be expecting this as much. So let's talk about the second animation. This is the off ball hand animation. So he's going to do a large leap to the side and pretend to do a shot, but he's going to continue his dribble. This is really effective for you if you're inbounding the ball. You want to create some space and stay unpredictable, switching it up between pump fake hesitations and your jab steps. It definitely helps. I get cooked a lot by people just simply doing a, the opposite hand pump fake hesitation before they even start their dribble when they're inbounding. So the last animation, and probably, well, not the last, but second to the last, and probably the least effective of the four, you got the own hand pump fake hesitation. So let's go ahead and look at it here. As you can see, he doesn't leap very far to the side. It is a very predictable animation, and he's not creating very much space with that. Now, the last one we're going to be looking at is a step back variation. Now, look at the step back variation. You may have noticed that it is a whole lot faster than a regular step back animation. So if you do a quick step back, of course, the speeds are going to be similar. But if you do a hold step back, the speed, you can see a significant difference between those two. But you do not get the characteristics of a hold step back when you're doing this. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. You will only get the characteristics of a tap step back, which means you will not get that explosive first step on your acceleration master. So another thing I want y'all to note is that you can get ankle breakers with this. So some people like to go into an off ball phase one dribble just like that. If you have the nimble crossover, it's going to look like this. Or different people just have different dribble animations sometimes. Nothing we can do about it. And then they'll go into one of these. And a lot of the time they get ankle snatches with those, especially against people who like to use their defend button. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. So the very first thing I want y'all to take note of is that if you jump into a tap step back after a pump fake hesitation, you're going to jump into the acceleration master spin move. So if you don't want the acceleration master spin move after your pump fake hesitation into a step back, it is very important that you hold your step back button after you get done doing that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the difference here real quick. So we're going to do pump fake hesitation into a step back. And we're going to get the acceleration master spin move right there. And it will help if there is no one else inside the paint. It can definitely get you by your defender because a lot of the time they're going to be trying to guard this. Whoops. <laughs> so a lot of the time they're going to be trying to guard this right here. People love to go to the side and try to guard that. They stop me every single time I attempt it. So if you're going into a different move here, well, after you get done doing it and you're able to actually go inside the rim, it's going to be much more effective than just running into your defender. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it when it comes down to the pump fake hesitation. Now, one last thing I want you all to take note of is that you can use these consecutively. So you can use several of these in a row. I'm not sure if you can do more than two. But, yeah, man, you can certainly do these after each other. You don't have to do other stuff before these. As you can see, we're literally spamming these right now. And, yes, you can get ankle breakers with these. And in order to activate this, one last time, you simply just drag your finger from the shoot button to the crossover button. And if you do a pump fake hesitation to the hand without the ball, you will get that long leap to the side. If you do it to the same hand with the ball, you'll do a smaller leap, which isn't nearly as effective as the other three animations. You stand still. You're simply just going to pretend to do a pump fake and start your dribble. And if you hold your analog, backwards you will go into a step back animation and yes it definitely helps because it's a much faster animation so all right man we're gonna wrap this video up y'all want to see more of this go ahead and drop a like sub to the channel and i'll catch y'all next one man